A reading from the second epistle to the Thessalonians. Sefer Thessalonikim Sheni. Chapter 1. Paul and Silonok and Timotheus, under the called out assembly of the Thessalonikim in Yahuwah, our Father, and Adonai Yahusha Hamashiach. Grace unto you and peace from Yahuwah our Father and the Adonai Yahusha Hamashiach. We are bound to thank Yahuwah always for you, brethren, as it is meet because that your belief grows exceedingly and the love of every one of you all toward each other abounds so that we ourselves glory in you in the called out assemblies of Yahuwah for your patience and belief in all your persecutions and tribulations that you endure, which is a manifest token of the righteous judgment of Yahuwah, that ye may be counted worthy of the kingdom of Yahuwah, for which ye also suffer, seeing it is a righteous thing with Yahuwah to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. And to you who are troubled, rest with us, when Adonai Yahusha shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, in flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not Yahuwah, and that obey not the besora of our Adonai Yahusha Hamashiach, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of Yahuwah, and from the glory of his power, when he shall come to be glorified in his Kodashim, and to be admired in all them that believe, because our testimony among you was believed in that day. Wherefore also we pray always for you, that our Yah would count you worthy of his call of this calling, and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness, and the work of belief with power, that the name of our Adonai Yahusha Hamashiach may be glorified in you, and ye in him, according to the grace of our Yahuwah and Adonai Yahusha Hamashiach. Chapter 2 Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Adonai Yahusha Hamashiach, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled neither by ruach nor by word, nor by Sefer as from us, as that the day of Yahuwah is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called Yah, or that is worshipped so that he as Yah sits in the temple of Yahuwah, showing himself that he is Yahuwah. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things? And now ye knoweth what withholds that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity does already work. Only he who now lets will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that Torahless one be revealed, whom Adonai Yahusha shall consume with the ruach of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, eth even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause Yah shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. But we are bound to give thanks always to Yah for you, brethren, beloved of Yahuwah, because Yah has from the beginning chosen you to Yeshua, through sanctification of the Ruach and belief of the truth. Whereunto he called you by our Besora to the obtaining of the glory of our Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach, 
Therefore, brethren, stand fast, and keep the commandments which ye have been taught, whether by word or our sefer. Now our Adonai, Yahusha HaMashiach himself, and Yahuwah, even our Father, which has loved us and has given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace, comfort your hearts, establish you in every good work, every good word and work. Chapter 3 Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of Yahuwah may have free course and be glorified, even as it is with you, and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for all men have not belief. But Yahuwah is faithful, who shall establish you and keep you from evil, and we have confidence in Yahuwah touching you, that ye both do and will do the things which we command you. And Yah direct your hearts into the love of Yahuwah and into the patient waiting for Mashiach. Now we command you, brethren, in the name of our Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach, that ye withdraw yourselves from every brother that walks disorderly and not after the precept which he received of us. For yourselves know how ye ought to follow us, for we behave not ourselves disorderly among you, Neither did we eat any man's bread for naught, but wrought with labor and travail night and day, that we might not be chargeable to any of you, not because we have not power, but to make ourselves an example unto you to follow us. For even when we were with you, this we commanded you, that if any would not work, neither should he eat. For we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly working not at all, but all, but our busy bodies. Now them that are such we command and exhort by our Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach that with quietness they work and eat their own bread. But ye, brethren, be not weary in doing well. And if any man obey not our word by this sefer, note that man and have no company with him, that he may be ashamed. Yet count him not, as an enemy, but admonish him as a brother. Now Yahuwah Shalom himself give you peace always by all means. Yah be with you all. The salutation of Pa'al with my own hand, which is the sign in every sefer. So I write, The grace of our Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach be with you all. Amen. End of the second epistle to the Thessalonians, as read from Sefer Taslonakim Shani.